Very few songs ever created move the world like this one that I'm gonna share with you today. And it's got a tragic and powerful story behind it. It's about Eric Clapton losing his four-year-old son after he fell through a window in an apartment building in New York City. Now the lyrics and melody are beautiful and I'm gonna break down the guitar part for you step by step in this video. So let's get started with this Tears in Heaven guitar lesson. The intro starts off like this. One, two, three, four. All right, so I'm playing this finger style, which is the way Clapton played it. And he also played on the unplugged version on a nylon string. So I'm using a nylon, a classical guitar. Now in the finger picking hand, I'm just using my thumb, my index, and my middle. We're gonna start off this lick here. We're gonna play the low E hammer to the second fret and then play the fifth string. Then we make an A chord shape here. We're gonna play the second fret on the third string and do a little hammer on pull off from the second fret on the second string to the third fret and then pull off back to two. So, and then play the third string again. And I'm letting that A chord with one finger there just ring out. Then we go up to a E over G sharp chord. And this is the way Clapton plays it. It looks like a D, but it's moved up two frets and then you don't play the first string. So we just have the notes B and E, and then the thumb comes over the top of the neck and plays the fourth fret on the low E string. Now, one thing that he does here often throughout this song is when he changes, chords, he does a pinch. And so that's just thumb, index, and middle pinching all the strings at once. And then what he does is he breaks them up too. So he'll go like pinch, then bass, then fingers with a little like claw effect there. So it's pinch, bass, claw. Okay, so backing up. Then we play a pinch again. This is on an F sharp minor seven chord. Two, four, two, 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 two. Just looks like a minor bar chord, but you take the pinky off. And I know I'm playing extra strings here, you know, as far as I'm fretting down this whole chord, but we really only need the sixth string, the third string, and the second string. So it's just two, two, two there. Again, thumb, index, and middle. So we're gonna pinch, and then we'll go bass, claw, bass. Okay, so backing up. And that F sharp minor comes on the and of four. So one and two and three and four and one and two and. And then we play this really cool, you know, gospel chord. We play that F sharp minor seven and then we put the E in the bass. Okay, so we, we bring that index finger down, play the low E, second fret on the third string, second fret on the second string, and we pinch those all together. Okay, so three and four and, so it's pinch, thumb, claw, thumb. So all throughout this, we're using a lot of just eighth notes back and forth, like thumb, claw, thumb, claw, or claw, thumb, claw, you know, depending upon what beat you're starting on. And if you haven't played with a finger style approach before, I wanna give you a gift that's gonna really help you out with this. And what it is is just five awesome finger style exercises that are gonna help get your finger picking hand in shape in record time. And you can get these completely for free. Just go to johnmclennan.com slash finger style jumpstart and you can download those as my gift to you. And it's really gonna help you when you're learning songs like this because you just kind of get the muscle memory and the, the motor skills going in your finger picking hand. So backing up, here's what we have so far. Okay, then we go 
to a D over F sharp, which looks just like that E over G sharp we had, just two frets lower. Again, we're gonna start with the pinch, then thumb, claw, thumb. Okay, so it's one and two and. Okay, then we'll take that thumb off, but leave the other two fingers there. That's an E7 sus4. We'll pinch, play the bass note, the thumb, then drop your index finger down to the first fret there, leaving your ring finger, and we'll pinch the bass, sixth string, third string, and second string all together, and then play the low bass again. So these last two chords here, we're going pinch, bass, pinch, bass. Okay, so backing up, one and two and three and four and then A. Now again, a lot of that is just eighth notes. One and two and, if you ever don't know what to play, you can always just one and two and three and four and keep those eighth notes going. Then when we get to the A, we're just gonna go one and two and three and four, then do that little lick again. So all I did on the A was pinch, and then play the bass, claw, bass, claw, bass, claw, then do the hammer on there. So it's one and two and three and four and a one. So here's the whole intro played as one piece. A one and two and three and four. If I count with it, one, two, three, four, and a one, and two, and three, and four, and 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 a one. All right, here's where the vocal comes in, and Clapton sings, Would You Know My Name? We're gonna play a similar part, but it's gonna change just a little bit. It sounds like this. Okay, then it goes again. So I started off the same way I did this. Hammer on to the second fret, then the open A string. Play the A chord, little lick. Then I move up, up to that E over G sharp, then F sharp minor seven. Walk the bass down, F sharp minor seven over E. Okay, now here's where it changes. Instead of going, which that's, that is what we're gonna use for the intro, here we're gonna go, So what I did there was play the D over F sharp, pinch, bass note, claw, bass note. Then I do the same thing, but I go to an A over E chord. And that's just an A with one finger there. So I'm getting the second fret on the third string and also on the second string. And then the low E, and that's just a beautiful sound. Now what you'll notice with this song is all these slash chords. So D slash F sharp, A slash E. And this is a very like gospel, very piano type of guitar part. And what it basically means with those slash chords is you have a chord like D where normally the lowest note or what we call the root note would be the note D. But here we're putting F sharp. So it's like a D chord, but then a different bass note other than the root note. So that's what gives us this sound like D over F sharp. A with an E. Normally when I play A, you know, you don't want to play that low E. You, you know, that gets a little muddy, right? So, but when you play it finger style like this, it's just a beautiful sound. And then that leads us to the E chord here, which is for a full measure, open, two, two, one, open, open. And what I'm doing here is playing, pinching the 
third and second strings with the bass note on the sixth string. And then bass note, claw, bass note, and then that's a little lick there. It's almost like That's a blues move. So you see Clapton, you know, he's so rooted in the blues that he has these little licks in pop songs, but again, it's still coming out of the blues. So that is the second fret there on both the third and second strings, and then four and three there. So, so it comes off the E chord like this. One and two and three and four, then the lick. again. Now, I'm playing a pretty consistent pattern, and for the most part, I mean, that's exactly what Clapton's doing at the core of what he's doing. Sometimes when he goes to E, for example, he'll go like, he'll go like, you know, and, and kind of hit like a high E string in there. So it's not like classical finger picking, it's more pop finger picking. So it's a lot of just that bass claw and keeping the eighth notes going. So let's put this together so far. We're gonna play the verse, or we're gonna play the intro into the verse, get set, and I'll count us in. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Go to the verse. Repeat the verse. All right, so those are the first two sections of this song, and I'm gonna continue in another video. If you need help in the meantime, be sure to grab my finger style jump start. This is gonna help get your finger picking hand in shape in record time. Just go to johnmclennan.com slash finger style jump start and grab that as my gift to you. As always, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, I think you'll really enjoy this one next.